Hey viewers, my name's Kara. I'm your Tuesday host on The Pagan Perspective, and this week we are talking about religious symbols being used in mainstream fashion. This week's topic comes from Juniper and Gold, and they are asking about the current mainstream appropriation of religious slash pagan slash occult symbols, especially in clothing. They said that a lot of edgier clothing companies have moved on from giant cross t-shirts to pentagram and pentacle earrings. The witchy style has been in for a while now, but it takes it to a new level when people are wearing symbols of religious practices that they themselves know nothing about, nor do they practice. And what are our thoughts? Here are my thoughts. I don't know for sure what companies you're talking about, and I don't spend a lot of time in malls or related places where I might have seen some of these fashions, but trying to look it up online yielded no popular fashion results, and everything that I found online was pretty much clearly meant for pagan customers to be able to find their own symbols. I'm thinking of maybe things like Hot Topic or Spencer's, but those companies have always had both gothic crosses and pentacles and things like that for sale. The Moon Phase pentacle that I wear all the time was bought for me years ago by a friend from Spencer's in a mall, in a shopping mall. I wouldn't think that non-pagans would buy pagan symbols. To me, it was a place to find symbols of my faith because, hey, this store actually carries it because they're known as sort of an alternative store, whereas the other department stores that sell little gold crosses and things would never dare sell pentacles. But are there kids and even adults who may choose to wear these things for shock value instead of for personal meaning? Yes. And that's their choice for whatever reason, though I don't personally agree with it. I can't imagine why a person would want to wear a symbol indicative of something that they do not believe or support. Maybe they think it means something that it actually doesn't, and that's another issue altogether. Maybe they have no idea that it means anything, and they just think it's a regular old everyday whatever, and therefore they don't realize the implications of wearing the thing. Maybe they're purposely being disrespectful. I don't know. Usually I think a person wearing a pagan symbol is probably some sort of pagan. Or maybe they consider themselves something else, but they have certain beliefs within the pagan pantheon. Panthe- is that a thing? I didn't really mean pantheon, like, about gods. This is scripted, and I said that, I didn't even mean to. You know what I meant, though, in, in the pagan community, the pagan umbrella. Anyway, moving on. I try not to assume that someone is pagan based merely on things that they wear, because I know that some people do wear things that they don't actually believe in, or some people wear symbols that they don't actually know anything about. But for the most part, I think that someone who is willing to wear that symbol in public is probably some sort of pagan. I make jewelry with pentacles on it, and I sell them on Etsy and every time I sell a piece with a pentacle on it, I like to think it's going to a pagan, whether the person buying it is pagan or maybe they're buying it for a friend who is pagan. Some of the people who buy from my shop, I know they're pagan. Other people I don't, and so I never really thought of it before. If this is just like a new trend, are people buying pentacles from my shop just because they're trendy? I mean, you guys have to let me know. Are there like runway models sporting pentacles and stuff like that? Is it like that kind of high popular fashion type deal? Or I don't really know what it is we're talking about when we say that this is a newer trend for non-pagans to be wearing our symbols. Sorry, I got away from the script again. Let's go back. Yeah, it's always a little bit weird if you go up to someone who's wearing a symbol of your faith thinking that you have something in common and it turns out that you don't. You find out that either they know nothing about it or they're wearing it because they think it represents something scary or edgy that they're trying to represent or whatever it else it is you get disappointed because you thought you found a like-minded person and it turns out that that's not at all what they were doing with the symbol so i would like to think that people only wear symbols that they personally believe in or find meaning in however circumstances do differ some pagans wear crosses either for family reasons or for the original historical symbolism or whatever other reason they may have some people may have no reason for it i don't know i have a cross ring from my mother, I should have gone and gotten these things, but I have a silver cross ring from my mother with, with an amethyst in the center. But for years, I do not wear that cross ring anymore because people see it and they assume that I'm Christian, and I don't want to represent that because I'm very proud of my pagan beliefs, and I don't want people looking at me and seeing me as representing something that I'm not. 
I have a gothic cross choker from my mother as well. It's a thick black woven choker with a large gold gothic cross. Very decorative, very awesome, I love it. But I don't wear it anymore in public unless I'm wearing it as part of a costume, because again, people see it and assume that I'm Christian or Catholic or possibly even goth, none of which are bad things they're just not accurate for me. My mother put a Celtic cross charm on my pagan prayer beads to represent her and where I came from and her beliefs. I have a couple rosaries that came to me. One belonged to my grandmother and one was a gift from my mother and my grandmother when I was being raised Catholic, so I've kept those as memories of my family and their beliefs and their influence on my life. I don't wear those things or portray those things in public, but I keep them. So things like that, I realize that some people may have a family connection to a symbol that they choose to wear, or they might have other reasons for choosing to wear these things. And sometimes those people may have to explain, this is not my personal belief, but... Or maybe they don't mind people assuming that they are something that they're not because they know what the true reason is and who cares if anyone else does. You all know that I personally like to ask people what things mean to them. But usually if I pass by a car with a pagan bumper sticker, I'm not going to get to talk to that driver and ask them about it. Or if I pass by someone with a pagan necklace, I don't ask about it immediately. I just sort of think, probably pagan. It would be really nice if we could know without having to ask people, if we could just know that that person wearing that symbol is that thing, but of course, such is life. And at least it starts conversations when we have to ask someone about something if we really want to know. Side note, there are some companies that I know of that sell clothing with Hindu gods printed on them. And not only is that a case of why would you wear something if you don't personally believe in it, but it's also a case of the people who do personally believe in that consider wearing the images of their gods to be extremely extremely offensive. The gods are not for short shorts. I would personally wear a goddess symbol on a t-shirt or something like that, an abstract representation of an ideal that I really hold, something that I really believe in. I find no problem with that personally. But that's not the same as wearing a goddess's face across my butt. Fashion is weird to begin with, and when you start getting into people's religious symbolism being on clothing, it gets even weirder. But to put it plainly and frankly, as far as I personally am concerned and as far as what I personally would do, I will not wear a symbol that I know nothing about. And I don't think that people should wear pentacles or ankhs or mjolnirs or even crosses without knowing what it represents. Because it does send a message. It says that you believe in something or agree with or support something. For example, I can't imagine a person who is against the gay pride movement wearing a t-shirt with a symbol of two men holding hands and waving a rainbow flag. If you know what it means and you don't agree with it, why would you wear it? If you don't know what it means, you should probably find out what it means before you decide whether or not you want to wear it. The same thing goes here. I think religious symbols should be worn with pride, and that sort of implies that you already know what you're wearing. I also will not wear a symbol that does not represent me even if I know what it means. Because it's not my belief, and I don't want other people to see it and say, oh hey fellow whatever, and it turns out that yes, I know what it means, but it's not part of my path at all. If you're working with a certain aspect of a different path and you want to wear a symbol for from that path to show the part that it plays in your own life, that's completely different than wearing a symbol of a path that is not part of your path at all. I don't see why you would knowingly wear something that doesn't represent you or something about you. It's like false advertising. Wear whatever you want for whatever reason you want. Just remember that when you wear it publicly, people who see that receive a message from it. Think about what you want to say, think about whether you're willing to explain it if people ask, and think about whether you're okay with the people who don't ask assuming something about you that may not be true. I would personally want to explain, but you all knew that about me. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.